The U.S. Navy and the Ballistic Missile Defense Organization completed the fourth flight test of the Aegis Leap Intercept Project on January 25, 2002. The ALI project is focused on demonstrating an intercept of a ballistic missile target in space with the Aegis weapon system and standard missile. The ALI project is a critical series of tests on a path to deploy a sea-based mid-course ballistic missile defense capability. This capability could provide ballistic missile defense of U.S. and allied forces, friends and allies, critical military assets, and population centers at risk from medium and long-range theater ballistic missiles. The Navy's made a significant investment in the Aegis combat system and the compatibility of the standard missile with the Aegis system allows us to capitalize on past engineering experience as well as operational experience and provide a system that will be in fleet use as soon as possible. We are now one step closer to confirming the operational concept and validity of theater ballistic missile defense from the sea in deployed Aegis cruisers and destroyers. On January 22nd, the ALI Flight Mission 2 SM-3 guided missile was loaded aboard USS Lake Erie CG-70. After loadout, the ship headed out to sea, roughly 250 nautical miles northwest of the Hawaiian island of Kauai in preparation for the flight test. Building on the success of the previous flight, FM-2 added a fully functional kinetic warhead with a live solid diverted attitude control system. The kinetic warhead is the final critical element to be tested in the ALI project and is responsible for impacting and destroying the enemy ballistic missile. The KW is based on the LEAP lightweight exoatmospheric projectile program which began in the mid-1980s. The SM-3KW is based on the LEAP technology, but with much greater capability. The KW operation was validated in a series of recent ground tests. A qualification test was performed on the Solid Divert and Attitude Control System, or SDAX. A system integration test verified all of the KW functions, including the Seeker and SDAX, in a fully integrated configuration. In parallel, the Aegis weapon system continues to evolve to meet the critical detect, control, discrimination, and engagement functions. On January 25th, an Ares target was launched from the Pacific Missile Range facility on the island of Kauai. The target vehicle flew a nominal trajectory throughout the flight. On board USS Lake Erie, the Aegis weapon system detected and immediately transitioned to track as the target broke the radar horizon. Approximately six minutes after target launch, USS Lake Erie launched the SM-3 missile. The missile completed booster burn and separation, followed by second stage burn and separation. An airborne camera tracked the target throughout the entire flight. After second stage separation, the third stage rocket motor, or TISRAM, was ignited, propelling the interceptor up out of the atmosphere and into space. The velocity, direction, and control are provided by thrust vector control and an integrated warm gas, cold gas attitude control system. After the first pulse of the TISRAM, the missile pitched over, ejected the nose cone, and pitched back toward the Ares target. Then the second third stage pulse was ignited. Using target updates from the ship, the SM-3 pointed towards the target. At that point, the KW was ejected from the third stage. The KW acquired the target in its field of view, began tracking, and began divert maneuvering. As the KW neared the intercept, the target image grew in the field of view. The FM-2 test achieved all of the primary objectives, including KW target acquisition and track, and KW guidance and divert. The FM-2 flew an intercept mission profile in preparation for the FM-3 flight test. As a result of good design and solid weapon system engineering, the FM-2 test achieved an intercept. This is the intercept as seen from the air-based cameras observing the intercept. The Aegis weapon system and range radars confirm a direct hit. Splash one Ares target. All primary and secondary objectives were met 
and in fact surpassed with the intercept of the Ares target. This sets the stage for future flight tests and puts the Aegis Leap Intercept project on track for a successful completion. The next test, FM3, will repeat the FM2 mission profile to demonstrate hitting TBM targets in space reliably. This will pave the way for deployment of a sea-based mid-course ballistic missile defense capability urgently needed by our friends, allies, and troops stationed overseas.